Hello and welcome to the third video in our series where we show you how to convert large 3D models and compress them for use with AWS IoT TwinMaker. My name is Madhavan Menon. I'm a senior solutions architect at AWS and today's walkthrough is based on a blog by Jeremiah Habits. The link is provided in the description below. In this walkthrough, I will demonstrate the creation of an AWS Fargate task that will grab a CAD or a computer-aided design file from an S3 bucket and convert it into a GLB or the binary GLTF format. It will store it back in the S3 bucket again. A Fargate task will then use Pixie scenario processor, which is available from AWS Marketplace. And to do so, it requires adjusting the default IAM policy for running tasks on Amazon ECS. This allows us for metering usage of these AWS Marketplace solution. So let's get to it. I've created a bucket in prep and inside the bucket, I have two folders, an input and an output. In the input, I'm going to upload the CAD file. It's a waste container and you'll see how it looks like once we complete the entire process. So I click on upload. While it does so, I'm going to go ahead and create a role that will help us manage this. I click on create role and the role that we need is in the elastic container service. So let's select that. Click on elastic container service and the actual role that we need is the elastic container service task. I click on next and I will select the permissions that I need, the marketplace permission. Let me filter for that. Attach that. The next permission I need is on the Amazon S3 to access the actual file that we just uploaded. And me fil filtering on that gets us to the permission itself. And the third one that we need is for the ECS task execution. So let's filter for that and select selecting can I get the actual folder the next step is to give this role a name so I give this a role name sample and I go ahead and create the role click on the role you can look at the summary we have these permissions that we need and it's all good now we go ahead to the ECS console to create the cluster. So I'll start with the cluster first, and this is going to be a network only cluster. And click on cluster, create cluster, network only is already selected, and give this cluster a name. I also need to create a VPC, and I will enable the container inside. The container inside generates log that is helpful for us as we track the progress of the conversion itself. Sometimes if there are issues, we can go into the log and figure out what went wrong. So I click on create and it will run a cloud formation stack to actually create the resources. We go back to the console again. And in this case now, we need to create the task definition that will run the actual task. As you can see, some of it has created. So I created a new task definition. It's going to be a Fargate task. So I select that is selected as default. I click on next and I give this a name. The role that we want is the role we just recently added and the operating system from is Linux. The execution role will also be the same. I'll give it about a 4 GB of memory and about one CPU. We'll now add the container. The container is where Pixie scenario processor comes in. We give the container a name. And the image from where we're going to run this container. So I have it saved off earlier. So I'm going to select this image 
which is provided by pixies make sure everything is alright we don't want any poor mappings and the next thing that we need to do is add the environment command so this again I'm going to select from my notes this basically it also helps you take a look at what you want to run so this is generic polygon target we want to be sure that it matches up with our bucket the bucket folder in the file and the region that we want to run it all looks good and I'm going to add this container now once this is done everything else remains the same we click on create and the task definition is getting created click on task definition now that this is done it is now time for us to actually run the task so I click on run task I select target as a launch type which is what we did earlier click on Linux everything make sure the task definition is all right and the subnets for the VPC that we want to run everything else remains the same we click on run task once we click on run task we can go to the CloudWatch logs to see what is actually happening here so I click on logs and then I go into log groups and I can see there's a pixies example task log group created this in turn has created a log stream and the log stream sometimes take times to load as you can see it's taking time to load what I'll do is I'll pause the video now and I'll come back once it's all loaded the log files are now loaded and as I scroll through I don't see any issues and I see that it exited with a status of zero what this means is that we now can go into our S3 bucket to see whether the output folder has the GLB format that we need we click on the bucket that we have and there you go the GLB folder is there so I click on it I downloaded it to my machine to, for me to actually view it so I save it in a location and then to view this actual GLB file I use VS Code VS Code has a plugin called GLTF tools that can be uh, downloaded and attached to your version of VS Code and once it is done it gives you an option for the GLB file to be converted so you click on this option called GLTF import from GLB save it in the same location and then when you click on the GLTF form you will see this nice little icon here that allows you to actually preview the 3D model as I mentioned it's a waste container that we see outside large-scale waste container factories and you can roll around and see what is what now that you've seen how to convert a 3D CAD model into the GLTF format for use with the AWS IIT TwinMaker I hope you follow these steps to convert other 3D CAD models that you have and use them with AWS IIT TwinMaker at the end of that activity be sure to tear down the AWS resources that you've stood up to complete these tasks. That would mean empty the S3 bucket and delete it, delete the IAM role and also the cluster. And at the end, be sure to unsubscribe from the Pixie Scenario Processor. We hope that you found this walkthrough helpful and that you are able to use the models in AWS IT TwinMaker. Thank you all.